of people might not be realizing this, but we're actually going through a massive shift in the anime or manga scene. Series such as Demon Slayer, Fire Force, Haikyuu, and so many more series already finished, while other series are on their final arc, such as My Hero Academia, Kaguya-sama Love is War, Tokyo Revengers. And seeing this for me is incredible because you get to see the generational passing of the baton. Not to say that this series is done, but Tatsuki Fujimoto, the creator of Chainsaw Man, passing the baton to Tatsu Yukinobu, the creator of Dandadan, -Dan. and Atsuchi Okubu, creator of Soul Leader and also Fire Force, passing it on to Kei Urana, which is the creator of Gashi Akuta, which is the manga we're going to be talking about today. But before getting into Gashi Akuta, I actually want to give you some background on Kei Urana, which is the mangaka of Gashi Akuta. Kei Urana was actually an assistant of Fire Force and Soul Leader, meaning Okubu's two main works. She also actually has a Twitter, which makes me suspect that this manga has been in the works for about two years. Because on April 24th, 2020, she actually posted some drawings, which are pretty similar to the main character of Gashi Akuta. And with her also being a huge fan of Okubu's work, you can see Fire Force littered throughout this whole manga. But now let's get to a little synopsis of Gashi Akuta. The descendants of criminals live in slums and are looked down upon by people across the border in the high class, clean and pristine side of the world. Bruto, an orphan, lives with his adopted father, Lecto, to whom he is indebted to for saving him when he was a kid. Despite his miserable life, Rudo still finds comfort in his loved one. Until the day everything changes when Lecto is murdered and Ludo is sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit. With the punishment being being sent to the abyss, which is a wasteland where all criminals, bodies, trash, and everything bad around the world gets sent. Now to me, the art style was a breath of fresh air. Much like Demon Slayer that had a very original art style, this also has that as well. Now yes, there's some inspiration from Fire Force as I stated before, Urana was a big fan of Fire Force and Okubo, but no matter what you hear from anybody else, this series has its own uniqueness within the art and also the paneling. Now, for only having two chapters, the world building is absolutely fantastic. It gave us a pretty good understanding of how the world works and its societal standards. Because in one side, you have to be pristine and clean to be in the high class world, and the other side, the slums is just filled with trash and also everything horrible with this world. Now, these are some series that I found that Urana was inspired by. For example, Bleach with this umbrella scene. The rage moments within this series are very clear that have Fire Force inspiration. And you can also see some Soul Eaters inspiration when the mangaka is drawing crowds. Now there's many themes throughout this story, but there's one theme that sticks out alone. One man's trash is another man's treasure. And you can see this from the first couple pages because we get introduced to the trash vandal, which is actually our protagonist. And he steals that trash to basically fix it up and also sell it to other people. Now, I'm just going to tell you now, if you miss out on this manga voluntarily, you're going to totally regret it. And I'm not even going to mention the insane amount of potential this series has. But if we're comparing newer series to newer series, I'm pretty sure Dandan Dan has a run for its money. So now I'm gonna go through the two chapters. So click off now if you're planning to read it on your own. Now the first two proper characters that we get introduced to are Rudo and Chiwa. Rudo being a trash vandal and also being a kid to a murderer already shows us the insane amount of stigma that this main character is dealing with. Being known as a trash vandal and a dirty ass person in a society where staying clean is the right way of life and also people comparing him to his parents. Now the first chapter gives you a lot but it doesn't give you too much. It still gives you enough sense of mystery that you want to keep reading. It's not like they give you everything in chapter one and then chapter two everything kind of falls off because they gave you everything now the other character that we get introduced to is called recto which is basically rudo's adoptive parent slash family and we also get shown the abyss which is basically where the death sentences happen these death sentences happen in front of the slums just showing the total power that the rich side of this world has and the things that get sent to the abyss are trash criminals dead bodies anything that is considered trash or dirty in this world is sent to the abyss making the slums filthier and filthier and filthier by the day now she was is initially seen as a love interest and also supportive character to Rudo. I know I said initially we'll get there because you see Rudo basically giving her a stuffed animal which is basically the anime way of saying I like you and then Recto gets killed. And Rudo being there at the moment that the body is basically dead, Rudo gets framed. And what does she do? Does she believe that Rudo got framed? No, she's actually completely disappointed and doesn't believe Rudo whatsoever making him get a tiny bit pissed. Basically calling the whole crowd of people trash and also I think quote unquote saying you have no will of your own you pieces of but I think he got a tiny bit angry. Now in chapter 2 he gets thrown into the abyss where all the trash is. It's basically unbreathable air in there. And there's also aberrant beasts which are basically a culmination of all the trash that has been thrown in and somehow gained life. And this is just me guessing but this took me back to the first page of the manga which quote unquote says it is said that souls dwell within things that are cherished. And what dwells in a trash that has been discarded? Now this is just me guessing but I generally love how the mangaka tied in chapter 1 page 1 to chapter 2. Now currently so far in the first two chapters that are out 
right now, meaning when I'm recording, there isn't any sort of power system or anything that makes something powerful compared to not. But at the end of chapter two, we met a character called Engine, which basically used some sort of power with his umbrella. Yes, I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous, but give me a break, which I'm guessing the power system is going to be explained in chapter three or maybe chapter four. But so far, there isn't one. Now, here are a couple pages that I generally found the art absolutely beautiful and the paneling absolutely beautiful. First off, here's Rudolph falling into the abyss. And also, here's the beginning to chapter two. Hey, editor quick here. Usually when I make videos on newer manga series, I like to explore the community's reaction through Reddit. And that's mostly because there's usually some cool ass fan art. Bashi Akuta subreddit already with 590 members. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so after looking for a while, this has honestly turned into the wild wild west. There's some people promoting their YouTube video. Shameless. There's some fan art. Someone simping for engine. Honestly, not shocked. And people begging for where to read this. So just give it like a couple months for people to start actually putting interesting stuff on here. Now, if you're watching this video and you still haven't read Gashi Akuta, please give it a chance. Even if you give it just one page or one chapter or even one panel, you're going to fall in love with this series. Okay, at least give it more than one panel, all right? But if Okubo is able to name this his successor, I generally think this series will give you an entertaining story, amazing art, characters that you can fall in love with or absolutely hate, and you're just missing out because you're not reading it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Everything you need to keep updated with Gashi Akuta is in the description. And yeah, deuces!